on The Dana Barrett Show. Ever wanted to see inside a celebrity's closet? Well, you might get your chance. Uh, there is a new business out there from an amazing Atlanta woman. Leslie Neeland is joining me. Her company is called Shop Snap It. And um, she's getting access to some interesting closets. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Gorgeous woman. I'm a little intimidated, not going to lie. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Come on. It's a love fest in here. Got to love it. (laughs) Uh, So listen, I want to jump right into this because I feel like from what I understand about Shop Snap It, it's kind of a, a whole new model. So explain the business. How does it work? Shop Snap It is an online uh, e-commerce app that uh, businesses can upload a uh, service or product, and uh, we service 55 countries around the world, and uh, you have the opportunity to showcase anything that you like and sell it. Okay, so it's so it's really that straightforward. It's a it's platform really- that can be used to sell anything you want. Yes. So how, how is it different? Because there's other platforms like that, like, you know, eBay and... You can do that on Amazon. So what makes this different? Well, I was going to say it's eBay uh, meets Instagram. It's very social. eBay is not social in that aspect or the way that Instagram is. And Instagram, obviously, there are people who are using Instagram to try to sell things, but that's not what the app is for. True. So I came up with this idea to marry the two together, and it's been amazing. It's been a great experience. People love the app, and I am so excited to be a part of it. Leslie Nealon hanging out with us this morning. She is the founder and owner of Shop Snap It. And uh, we're just starting to kind of get an understanding for what the app is. But be- before we go further down that road, Leslie, I need to kind of figure you out a little bit here. H- how did this all start for you? What's your background? I, I have a business background. I majored in business finance and mass communications. And uh, I, f- I found, and I've had a pretty um, good, successful uh, business for the last 14 years. Uh, but what I found, so I've been lucky, but what I found, there are a lot of individuals that start businesses, and it can be a little daunting and intimidating when you don't know exactly, um, you know, how to do it. There's so many moving parts to, be, to starting a business. So what I found is uh, 50 to 60% of individuals, especially like startup small businesses, fail within the first two years. And I thought, gosh, you know, that's so, it's, you know, horrible. Like, how can, what can I do to assist these people to have Uh, more success. So I thought about it for a little while and I thought, you know what, would be a pretty easy way to do it to create this app. So that's how the the idea uh, came to life. So what what was what was your business prior to this? Um, My business, I have a uh, a hardware design company and I'm a writer. I'm an author. uh, So I've kind of switched careers like over the years. uh, But (laughs) I've always had my business from the time I graduated from college. I started this business one year out and um, I had some, like I said, a pre- you know, pretty successful business. Uh, and then I started writing in 2007, and uh, that just came together, and it was just something that I always loved to do. And um, I figured out a way to get paid to do it. So, I love that. Yeah. So obviously, you, you know, with Instagram and with that kind of idea behind an app, it's got to be something visual. It's going to work better if there's a way to really showcase it as a visual thing, correct? Yes. Okay. And so there, it, I was teasing about the, the closets, and I don't mean teasing like making fun. I mean like letting people know. So there, so there's a celebrity angle here and, an, and a nonprofit angle too, right? So explain yes. that whole part of it. Okay. So there are celebrities that are using the app. And as we all know, celebrities love to look great and amazing. They have these beautiful clothing that they can only wear like one time, and then you can never be seen yeah. in this outfit again. <laughs> so instead of having it just hanging in your closet and going to waste, celebrities are now posting these items on Shop Snap It and selling them to raise money for their charities. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's working out really well. And they're kind of giving you a little sneak peek into the behind the scenes, too. Yes, we are actually uh, filming in their closet, so they kind of go through and give, like, background information about certain dresses or purses and, uh, you know, sentimental value for certain things, but they're willing to let them go so they can raise money for their charity. So, yeah, so that's actually, like, one of the highlights of doing this app and working with celebrities. That's really cool. So can you give us a, a can you do some name dropping? Can you I give can. Us, okay. I can. So <laughs> for the individuals here in Atlanta, we have uh, the Housewives of Atlanta, which is a really, really popular show. So Cynthia Bailey and Kenya Moore are on the app. Also, Marlo Hampton is new to using the app. We have um, uh, Kevin Hart uh, and his wife who are going to be coming on board. Nice. Yeah. And we have Kelly Rowland that we're working out a deal with. So we're actually uh, Claudia Jordan, who is in L.A. She's on a, a, a pretty big show. In L.A., she just launched her uh, 
her talk show career. So she has been a part of uh, uh, marketing and helping us with the app. And she's done a few shows, but she's amazing. So, yeah, so those are a few names. I love it. It's a fun idea. Leslie Nealon hanging out with us this morning, founder and owner of Sna- uh, I can't Shop, say it. Snap, Shop it. Snap It. I got, I got uh, <laughs> tongue-tied there. It happens. Yeah. Um, okay, so how, what's your t- – like, how do you get the celebrity connection? Because I feel like, you know, you talked about how hard it is sometimes to be a small business. Yes. I feel like a lot of small businesses – and you're basically a startup with this. I am, absolutely. Right, so I feel like – what startup wouldn't love to have a celebrity involved in their product or endorsing their product? What's the deal here? Who do you know? Well, that speaks to, well, I know Meg Reggie, who is my PR person who I adore. Um, but I, Meg I, rocks. Yes, she absolutely <laughs> does. But um, I have um, a, a team, and what we do is we set up the meetings and we pitch to these celebrities, and it honestly isn't really hard. Like once they... Uh, use the app and they see the presentation, they fall in love with it and they sign on to do it because the charitable aspect of the app is what actually kind of pulls at their heartstrings yeah. because they definitely want to help uh, the apps. Oh, I'm sorry, the um, the uh, foundations that they support sure. and the charities that they support and to get rid of these clothes and things in their closet. So it's like a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about um, some of the other potential uses for it and who might, who might really benefit uh, because I feel like You know, the idea, I like the idea. I know a lot of people, stylists, for example, try to sell like their outfit of the day or whatever it is on Mm -hmm. Instagram. Um, But uh, to your point, it doesn't, it doesn't really work that well. And if you put that up on eBay by itself, you don't get the same kind of, you know, interaction. So, so how, how, how does it work for that? That's just one business I thought of, but what are some of the other businesses that it really will work well for? Uh, Boutiques uh, for individuals that have new services. You have a huge number of women who are starting businesses um, in 2017, 2018, uh, and a lot of them uh, don't necessarily have the um, uh, the means or ability to have a brick and mortar like you know location. So there's everybody selling online. So with Shop Snap It, uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's a, I, I say it's easy, but it's because it's actually true. It's very, very easy to use. If you have an attractive product or service, you um, set up, you register for the app, you set everything up, you post, and you uh, there's a feature on the app, I think we're going to get to that, where you can actually market your company. So it's like having a business. You don't just set, set it up and the followers that you have you hope that they'll buy it, you can actually market and promote your app to people who may not know you exist. So, um, and as I said, we are in um, 50 or service 55 countries. So it's not just the people that are in your area. If you have a boutique and people are coming in your boutique or you're selling something online, you have the ability with Shop Snap it to reach all, you know, people all around the world. All right. We'll talk about that feature then, because are you saying like with Facebook where you buy an ad, is that what you're talking about? Like how, how, what is the feed, the marketing feature? It's called the blast feature. So uh, instead of having to contact um, shop snap it, you can do it yourself. So within your app in your home screen, you can scroll down to a particular area and you see it where it says blast and you hit the blast feature. And what you do is we have um, in our um, algorithm, uh, we actually focus and it's very very um strong that's the only way i can explain it where you can actually hashtag the people that you're looking for the target your demographic if it's women uh people who purchase shoes if you have like a shoe boutique and uh just all of the different details about your business and then you hit the number of people that you'd like to blast your new either your promo to if you have like a shoe that you're trying to sell or just your business in general and you can choose a thousand ten thousand five thousand and you hit that and you send it out to those people and it targets that particular demographic. So I, I got to ask you before we run out of time, what, what the business model is for you. Do you take a little uh, piece of each transaction? Do you charge people membership fees? Do you, do you charge for advertising? How, how do you make money in all of it, this? It is a free download, but uh, for every transaction, so the seller um, business, you have to have some overhead. Yes. Uh, it's 5% to Shop Snap It, which is the lowest of any e-commerce app uh, on the market. Okay, yeah. fair enough. I like that. And uh, before, again, we're, we're down to the last minute or, or so here. It goes really fast. Yes. I know, because I feel like, you know, shopping, we could sort of talk all day. Yeah, and I feel uh, like I'm talking to my friends, so thank you for making it so easy for me. You I really are. You are talking it. to your friends. All of us. All of us are <laughs> yes. your friends. Uh, so, okay, so right now you're out, you've been out for how long? Uh, we launched uh, November 15th, 2017. And, and are you watching all of this these data 
you know, security oh, yeah. issues and cyber Daily. issues. And are Daily. you, are you, yes. <laughs> are you worried about, you know, people's reaction to a newer app and, and that, that they need to understand how, what you're doing to keep their data secure? Yes, absolutely. And, uh, fortunately, uh, we have not had many issues, even though there's fraud all over the place, especially online, but we integrated a system that flags, even if you have someone that's using a credit card and all of a sudden, because typically when fraud is, uh, is there, they're actually get it, using the credit card. Immediately, they start to go from website to website to website. We flag that type of activity, okay. you know, to keep that from happening. So we've had very, very little, and we've seen, for, to my understanding, that we've uh, been able to catch it. Uh, so, and we protect our users, and we protect the sellers, buyers, both, and we just have a, a few things in place to make sure that everyone's safe. Yeah, I, th I think things have changed so much now. You used to yeah. be able to just make an app and not worry about it, and now you kind of have to be responsible for all that stuff, too. Yes, exactly. We don't want to see you testifying in front of Congress. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, Leslie, thank you so much for being with us this morning. I really appreciate it. Great to know you. Uh, the business, again, is Shop Snap It. That's the name of the app, and we'll post a link to it on our show notes page at DanaBarrett.com. It's the Dana Barrett Show. Don't go away. We'll be back.